first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so this special data interpretation video or specially made for the students those who are going for a cat level exam as well as students those who are going for a bank mains exam so in those exams you can able to see a very difficult data interpretation so in order to crack that i will be posting these kinds of difficult data interpretation videos so do not forget to watch all my videos but remember one important thing before watching this video you have to know this the same data interpretation question what i am going to teach now is available as a test so first visit my website or my mobile application there in a quantity quantitative aptitude session you can able to see at the last data interpretation bracket means so inside that the same question what i'm going to teach in this set available as a test first write the test and check what is your score whether you are getting five out of five or you can't able to understand the da itself so first write the test after writing the test come and watch this video for solution without writing a test if you watch this video completely 100% the video will be useless no use so first write the test and analyze what is the mistake that you have done where you have done the mistake and then watch this video right definitely it will be helpful for the students those who are going for cat exams and bank mains exam so let me move on to all the difficult data interpretation question on these types of videos so friends now let me move on to this 27th data interpretation for a mains level exam so i hope you have taken the da as a test so i think so it's a medium level da and this concept the average based concept in data interpretation is most most important and mainly if you are preparing for a cat exam or SBA PO mains exam, IBBS PO mains exam. So this difficult level exams, right? These kinds of difficult level exams, definitely when you take a previous year question papers of all these exams, you can definitely see a question that is based on a DA on the concept of average. So usually you can able to see this question. Uh, there are 11 cricket players and each player has played this much of game and Sachin Tendulkar average score is this much and they will give you some formulas, run rate formula or else the uh, these kind of formulas will be given under that and mostly the question concept will be on the based on average most of the games a football game will be given kind of da will be given under each player this much of he, gave, he played this much of games and uh, his average is this much and he scored zero runs in this match so we need to find what is the 11th innings average or 12th innings average so this kind of questions i hope if you are preparing for the um, exams you might see these kind of question so be sure on the basic concept of average you have to know how to find an average and how actually the average works without any formula or without any knowledge just you need to remember okay this is the way we have to find the average that is most important right so now let me move on to this uh, data interpretation table chart based on the concept of average here they have given a table chart the average of 30 students in four different classes a b c d the below table shows the detail of average age of the students so what they have given us totally there are four classes that is a b c and d and each class there are 30 students because at the note they have given each class having the same number of students so that means class a has 30 students class b has 30 students c 30 d 30 right and the average age of all the students at the last has been given look at the last chart so look at the last column so average age of total number of classes that means for 30 students average age was 8 for a class a and for class b for 30 students because each class has 30 students so 30 student average age is 9.5 10 and 10 so last column they completely talking about the total average of all the 30 students in each classroom so what about the first thing average age of first set of 10 students average age of second set of 10 students but what about the third set just see they have given 10 10 students but the third set of 10 students was not given in the chart yes or no right because a classroom contains 30 students total has been given out of 30 first 10 students average has been given second 10 students average has been given but the third 10 student average was not given so initially before solving all the question based upon the chart we have to find the third set of 10 students what is their average age because first has been given first 10 has been given second 10 has been given 
and third 10 which was not given but the total has been given right for all the 30 students they have given a total first what we can do is we can go with class a so class a first 10 students how much 8 average age of first 10 students is 8 so 10 student average age is 8 so 10 into 8 will be the total age of all the 10 students so similarly second set so second set 9 into 10 what about the third set third set was not given so let me keep it as x here is equals to the total so total is how much 8 and the total number of students are how much 30 so 30 into 8 resultant will be the total strength that is total age of all the students so now let me find what is the value of x that is the third set of 10 students so 80 plus 90 plus x is equals to 240 so 90 80 will be 170 so 240 minus 170 will be 70 so x is equals to 70 so finally we can say that answer for this value of x which is 70 that means the third set of students 10 students was 70 but we our target is to find what is their average right so divided by 10 because totally we have 10 students in the third set also so 70 will be the third set total age so divided by 10 resultant will be 7 so this will be third set of 10 students so years right average years that's it so now we found the third set of 10 students of classroom a and the average age will be 7 so similarly we have to find for b and we have to find for c and we have to find for d because one value is completely missing in the chart we have to find that missing value initially before solving it right so we, what we found here is the value of a and similarly we have to find for value of b c d etc after finding the chart value we have to solve the question right so i think this all the five question based upon the chart is not that much difficult right i think so because i have seen the da but basically it's like medium level not like i uh, level da but anyway this concept is important you should know how to find it and also sometimes while teaching the average topic also totally i think i have posted six videos on the topic average so there also i have told you you need to know how to find a classroom based average question student and a teacher or else total will be given out of total you should know how many boys are there how many girls are there that is most important concept in average just see they have given 30 students in a class a Right? If in a class A, there are 30 students, but out of this 30 students, we don't know how many boys and how many girls are there. They have given total is 30. Out of 30, the average has been given. In, in case, if the question is based on boys and girls, you have to frame an equation here. Out of 30, if X is the number of boys, then 30 minus X will be the number of girls. Resultant is equal to 30X. So friends understood or not what I did right if we need to find the average of boys and girls then what you have to do is out of 30 you have to split how many boys are there and how many girls are there. So how will you split this we don't know how many boys. So let me keep boys as x then the remaining will be girls. So out of 30 if x will be the number of boys and the remaining 30x will be number of girls. So when you add these two total resultant will be the total classroom average. Right. So this is the way you need to frame an equation in case if the question is based on boys and girls. So here is the first question that is based on a chart and the first question itself it is based on boys and girls. Just now I have told you the concept but anyway I will solve one question in case from the total if they are talking about how many boys and how many girls just you should know how to frame that equation and then you, know, you should know how to solve it. Right? It's very simple and easy. So first what they have given us average age of girls is 9 years and the average number of boys is 7.5 years and the total classroom is not we already know right they are talking about class a in class a totally girls average is how much boys average is how much and our target is to find what is the difference between the total number of girls and total number of boys in a classroom A. So this is the value what they have given in a question. So based upon it our target is to find what is the difference between girls and the boys. So when just see here just now I have told you we already know that in a totally in a classroom there are 30 students. So out of 30 we don't know how many boys are there. So let me keep it as x will be the total number of boys and what about the girls so remaining 30 minus x will be the total number of girls 
resultant when you add these two value resultant will be the total classroom strength so in a classroom totally there are 30 students and each student average age is 8 so according to the chart value so now in boys alone what is the average age of boys in the question it's 7.5 and what is the girls is 9 so 7.5 into 9 that's it so into 9 I've multiplied for girls and into 7.5 I multiplied by for boys right so 7.5 into x plus 270 minus of 9x is equals to 30 into 8 so this will be 240 so this will be 240 so 240 minus of 270 will be 30 resultant is equal to 30 minus 30 right but here also we are getting minus of 1.5 which is 1.5x so left hand side minus and right hand side minus we can cancel it so 1.5x is equals to 30 so x is equals to 20 here so finally we can say that the value of x is equals to 20 so that means we have assumed the value of x for the total number of boys and 30 minus x will be girls. So out of 30, we found there are 20 boys and remaining 10 will be girls. And our target is to find the difference. So difference will be 10. So answer for this question will be 10. So friends, understood or not? Very easy, right? So only thing is you should know how to frame this equation. That is alone important to solve these kind of DA. So while teaching average itself, I have told this concept. In case the question is based on the concept of teacher students in a classroom based you should first know how to frame this equation right or else if you can't understand this kindly watch my uh, average topic playlist so i think third or fourth lesson included excluded teacher included teacher excluded so those kind of question i have taught in my youtube channel itself so you can search in the average topic right which is most important for the basics level of average question so this will be the answer for the first question. So when we move on to the all remaining questions, I think the remaining question was not that much difficult. The total age of third set of 10 uh, students from all the classrooms is we have to add the total. The 10 classroom students of C and D and we need to find the, uh, just we need to find the total or else a percentage based X is what percentage of Y. So I think all the remaining four questions are easy. So first question is also easy just I have solved to understand how to write this equation right other than that mostly you can able to solve all the five questions. So keep on solving many DA like this if you are preparing for the mains level exam. So it is 27th DA right already I have posted 26 data interpretation for mains level. So do not forget to watch all my DA videos starting from from one every time before watching this video kindly take the test first and then come and watch this video because only if you take the test you can understand that where you are making a mistake and which point you are struggling to solve it so I have given the solution also there but in case if you can't able to understand the solution you can come and watch this video so that you can rectify your mistake and you you, you should not do this again and again on the upcoming DA. Right. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a very small video because DA was not that much difficult. So it's uh, just uh, to understand concept DA average. So next next videos we can solve little bit tough question. So friends, thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the high level competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.